Why do I get affected by coronavirus but bats don't? Bats shelter many diverse viruses, the Ebola virus in Africa, the Nipah virus in Asia, and the novel coronavirus appear to have originated in bats. While these viruses can cause serious and often fatal diseases in human, bats seem unhurt. So you might be wondering why aren't the bats themselves affected by these deadly viruses? Why these deadly viruses do not shut down the bat immune system as it does in humans? Before I answer the big question, why do we humans get affected by coronavirus but bats don't, let us first find out why do so many infectious diseases emerge from bats? Well, there are billions of bats and more than 1400 different species living on every continent except Antarctica. They are the second largest order of mammals after rodents. And there are 130 different kinds of viruses found in bats. Millions of bats share caves, mines and hollow trees in groups and prefer to live in large and tight colonies close to one another. This creates a perfect setting for viruses to bounce between one bat to another through close contact and to other species who might also share the same space. Secondly, they have long lifespans relative to their body size and can live for more than 30 years so they get a long time to be infected with the virus and shed it into the environment. Bat viruses are shed through urine, feces and saliva. Moreover, bats are the only mammals capable of flying, making it easier for them to spread diseases through their feces. But what is particularly interesting is their tolerance to viruses with so many potentially dangerous viruses circulating among them. Why do these winged mammals themselves not die off from these deadly diseases? It turns out that the answer to that question has to do with the bat's unique feature as the world's only flying mammal. When bats fly, they release a great amount of energy which increases their body temperature to 38 to 41 degrees centigrade. Its heart rate can surge to more than 1000 beats per minute when flying. This means that bats are often in a state that for humans would be considered a fever. For most land mammals, these are signals that would trigger death, but bats live with it every day. Their bodies make molecules that other mammals don't have, which help in repairing cell damage. They can even tolerate some potential damaging effects better than other mammals caused due to inflammation response called a cytokine storm a fatal complication that occurs in several respiratory diseases including COVID-19. In other words, their systems don't overreact to infections which keep them from falling ill from the many viruses they carry. On the other hand, these viruses that have evolved in bats are able to withstand these high temperatures, but in humans, our immune system has evolved to use high temperatures as a way to disable pathogens. Clearly, these unique mammals and the viruses work together and have a long-term relationship maintained by the bat's unique superimmune system. Evolutionary adaptations of their innate immune system have led to the superior antiviral capacity that bats possess. They have found a way to coexist with the viruses they live with and they maintain this relationship until something upsets this delicate equilibrium. Needless to say, humans don't have a similar defense mechanism to novel coronaviruses, which means that pathogens that are relatively harmless in bats can sicken us and kill us with ease. 